So for a while now, I've been pretty unsatisfied with the quality of composite videos being output by my Genesis and Saturn. If you've seen my Musha or Darius Gaiden videos, then you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Now, I wouldn't say the quality of composite is offensive or anything, but I mean, it certainly leaves a lot to be desired. That being said, I am always going to want to be able to play my games on actual hardware and not emulation, so how am I going to get the best quality out of my videos? Well, a couple years back, I actually heard about Genesis component cables that were coming out, and oh my god was I hyped. I literally waited months for them to come out, and when they finally arrived, they did not work on my television. Unlucky. My television, like many other new TVs, does not support component in 240p. However, being a poor college student, I decided that I would keep the TV and the cables and just continue to play in composite on a CRT, which is fine, CRTs are great and they definitely work better for old games, but it was not what I wanted. Flash forward to now and I find out about the Retro Tink as well as an extension cable for the Genesis component cables that actually allows it to work on the Sega Saturn. Naturally, I ordered both of these immediately and unfortunately actually my Retro Tink was stolen off of my front porch. Thankfully, Mike, the guy who actually makes them, is an amazing human being and he sent me a replacement. Literally, thank you so much, dude. I hooked it up and sure enough, my TV can now handle the raw power of the Genesis and Saturn. Not only that, but if there is any input lag, I sure as heck don't notice it. And let me tell you, I have played a lot of Darius Gaiden and I cannot tell the difference. Now the Retro Tink gives you a few options when it comes to displaying video. We've got the regular display, we've got a 2x mode and a filtered mode, all of which you can turn on together in any order that you want. The reason that my television didn't accept the signal is that it doesn't support 240p coming from component cables. The way old consoles actually display their information is specifically designed for CRT TVs. If you take a regular component cable to an HDMI adapter, you'll see what I'm talking about. And this is it. This is component video going through a converter to HDMI. Looks pretty bad, doesn't it? What's happening here is that the image that we want is being displayed at 240p, but the capture card is also getting the garbage at the bottom that completes the 480p resolution. So the top half, which is the game, actually looks pretty good, but it's coupled with all this trash at the bottom. However, when we use the Retro Tink on 2 times mode to display the same game through the capture card and television, we actually get a pretty nice signal. Just compare it to the composite image. It's noticeably clearer. So just for fun, let's play the intro to Lightning Force at a bunch of different video qualities. I would start off with RF, but you really don't want to see that. So here we've got composite video running through the Retro Tink. As you can see, it's a little grainy and the color's a little bit washed out. Really nothing special here. Here we have component going through the Retro Tink without a filter. This is my personal favorite way to play the game. I think it looks the best. And here we have it going through the Retro Tink with the filter applied. Not bad, I can see why people would like it, but I prefer the pixelated look. Now, just to be absolutely ridiculous, let's compare Darius Gaiden on the Sega Saturn through the component cables to the Switch version of Darius Gaiden. Here we have the Zone B boss of Sega Saturn's version of Darius Gaiden. As you can see, the colors look great and everything is really sharp and accurate. And here we've got the Switch version. The colors are a little bit brighter and the image is a little bit crisper. Obviously the side panels are also there because it's the Switch version. And of course, it is the superior version, graphically anyway, but that's to be expected. On a TV though, it actually looks surprisingly similar to the Saturn version. The RetroTINK can also convert S-Video into HDMI, but unfortunately I left my S-Video cables for SNES and GameCube with a friend, otherwise I'd love to show those off as well. Oh! <laughs> uh, you got me in the corner. <laughs> The Retro Tink has breathed new life into my Sega systems. The quality and care put into its design is absolutely remarkable. I honestly cannot thank Mike enough for creating this and specifically helping me with my shipping issues. If you don't already have one, it's well worth the hundred or so dollars that it costs. I'm looking forward to doing a comparison video on the multiple versions of Darius 2, and with the Retro Tink and component cables, the Saturn version is going to look great even alongside the Switch versions of the game. I'm Andrew Boffner, and I'll see you all next time!